Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I want to talk about the 1904. Let's get a little bit closer here. Uh, this is a Holley 1904 one barrel. And I get a lot of questions about uh, how to troubleshoot a 1904 that won't idle good. Um, so I'm going to give you a few ideas here that may not take care of everything, but uh, we'll give it a try. First, take take care of your electrical system. Most people tend to blame the carburetor first and it should be the last thing uh, that you look at. Make sure your plugs, your wires, your distributor are all working, your di distributor advance. Uh, take the points out, look at the bottom and the, on the mechanical advance, make sure the springs are hooked up if you have that type, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, once you got all that working good, then look at your carburetor. So first of all, uh, are you getting too much gas? And, uh, you know, that'll be uh, noticeable by a stink, black smoke coming out, etc. Uh, at idle, watch, look and see in your main discharge here, see if uh, gas is dribbling out of it at idle. It should not happen. If it is dribbling out, it could be a, a clogged idle uh, vent or uh, possibly uh, the check ball's not sealing. And uh, instead of taking the metering block out, or the economizer block, as it's really called, I'll show you on this picture inside this uh, economizer block. Right here is your accelerator pump diaphragm intake. And if that's not sealing, then uh, gas will get siphoned out through the main discharge. Now, uh, we, we recommend not going into this. You know, make sure it rattles good and everything. Uh, that's about all you can do. Uh, if you do have to go into it, uh, then you got, you're talking about drilling out the, uh, oh, there's a couple of uh, tubes on the other side. You drill those out. Some have screws in them to take out. This particular carburetor does. And then you can uh, tap on that check ball just a little bit to help seal it. Uh, okay. You want to check for vacuum leaks. Uh, check around the mounting here. Spray some carb cleaner around it. Um, around here the throttle body and then any uh, vacuum that comes from the intake or the carburetor like here this is your distributor advance uh, make sure that's sealing and oh check your uh, the ends of your throttle shaft now this one has a plug in it which helps but you still want to check it um, these things uh, because of uh, old age get worn and I always say uh, you should have a 30 second or less free play back uh, up and down on the uh, throttle shaft. And to check to see uh, if it's affecting it, spray some carb cleaner around each end of it. If that uh, changes your RPM, uh, then you found your problem, most likely. So there's that to check. Let's see, just checking my notes. I don't want to forget something. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> we talked about gas dribbling out. If you are getting too much gas, a couple things to check is your float level. Make sure when you turn the carburetor upside down that the float is level. Uh, there's that. Also, uh, what happens a lot in these 1904s is, is the gaskets here between the, the, the seat sits right in here like, like a so. And the gas will leak past here because uh, they don't seal very well. So get your little Permatex anaerobic and spread a very light amount around each surface of that and around the gaskets on both sides of the gaskets. And that will help seal it. Gasket's missing on in here, but that's okay for now. Uh, let's see here. So that's a needle. See if it's leaking, of course, you're going to get too much fuel and it, it, it will probably uh, siphon into the carburetor. So <clears throat> let's see, did I talk about the idle mixer? I, uh, you want to take your idle mixer screw out, make sure you can see through it. There will be a hole that goes into the bore that you can see. You can see, I can see daylight through there. There's a little hole right there. That's where the idle fuel mixer comes out at. It is fed by. Uh, fuel from the uh, float bowl of course and then uh, your idle vent right here adds air 
to it also. There's actually two here. You want to make sure they're both uh, open. But this one here is the one that goes right directly to your idle mixer screw. And you can check that out by uh, plugging the hole in the inside, blowing through your idle mixer screw hole, and uh, uh, see if you got air coming out through the top. You can usually hear it. Or blow through the top and see what's coming out the bottom. So, now if the carburetor's been sitting around for a long time, your gas may have turned sour and varnish the inside of your carburetor. Anytime you smell uh, any varnish, uh, forget everything else. Take the carburetor apart, clean it, rebuild it, whatever, uh, to, get, to get all that cleaned up. Because as you can see, these passages are very little and uh, they will uh, cause problems. Okay, so the vent here, if I haven't mentioned it, make sure the vent's open. Uh, if the vent's not open for some reason, then you're going to get a, a suction in your carburetor and it's going to pull gas in when you don't want it to. So the idle mixer, check your screw. This one has a groove, should not be grooved. That's usually from people tighten them too tight. You don't want to bend down here. This part of here doesn't matter. It's all about right here. Okay. So on the bench, when you get down rebuilding, I turn it in. I usually use my fingers make sure I don't do it too tight and seat the needle turn it back out a turn and a half or so turn and a half two turns whatever okay and then you put it back on the car warm the car up set the idle you know whatever it is 500 rpm 600 whatever your book says then you adjust the idle mixer screw the first thing I do is uh, I'll turn it out counterclockwise a little bit uh, RPM will probably drop if you're close and then I start turning in a quarter turn at a time then I give it a second for the engine to catch up and um, it, it, I keep doing that until the RPM drops and then once it does that turn out one quarter turn now if you need to turn it a quarter turn either way to make it idle smoother then by all means do that these carburetors are worn um, you know n nothing is gonna happen to specs exactly so you got to use your common sense on that. So that pretty much covers, I believe, the, uh, yeah, that pretty much covers uh, all I can think of at the moment. So it gives you plenty to do. And I hope that helps if you have any uh, idling problems. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, you can get parts for these at Mike's Carb Parts. Mike, excuse me, Mike'sCarb.com. That's M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B. Thank you for watching.